What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Today it's another Washboard Wednesday video and of course we're gonna attack the core here, but we have to see how are you gonna define core. If you think that is just your abs, you're gonna be sorely disappointed, or at least you might be until you actually try what I'm gonna show you here today because this might be exactly what you need if you always think about the core in terms of just your abs. You see, we're gonna jump back in time here. Think about maybe when you were a kid, when you were out in the snow and you made those snow angels right? Just up and down, legs in and out, arms up and over your head in an arc. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to make an angel here, but of course it's going to quickly, as you guys know and should expect by now, become more of a devil when you see how we perform this exercise from the other side. You see, when we want to define the core, we've got to make sure that we're including all of the muscles that surround our entire torso. And again, like I said, surround, that's front and back side. And most of the time, our posterior chain muscles are not nearly as strong as our anterior chain. And you're going to find that out firsthand when you try this. So here I am demonstrating the classic snow angel movement, except I've got dumbbells in my hands. And when I do this, you can see that obviously I'm working all the muscles on the front side of my body. And in order to do this and maintain my stability while I do it, I'm going to have to have some chest strength, anterior shoulder strength, ab strength, even quad strength to keep my legs up off the ground. It's all working together, but guess what? You should be strong in these movements and these muscles because you're used to doing a lot of these anterior chain dominant exercises. Where the real fun comes in is when you try to turn over and see if you can do the same thing. And I can pretty much guarantee you whatever weight you are using and managing on the front side, you're going to have to cut it in half, if not more. And sometimes guys have to even cut it down to nothing. Some of my top athletes literally can't use any weight. But what's happening here is, is exposing a major problem in terms of the balance between front side and back side strength. And when we talk about the core, we have to have a good balance of strength here between our front side and our back side because our core does continue to wrap around our body, as I said, in three dimensions. It doesn't end right here at our sides or end where it goes out of sight. So I flip over to my stomach and now I have to do this prone version of this exercise and it becomes way the hell harder. This is where guys start calling this the angel of death because you'll see that I'm now down to five pound dumbbells from the 10 I was originally using. And as I bring my arm up over my head, I obviously have to have full mobility in my shoulder and also through my shoulder blade, but also the stability to allow me to do this without my arms sinking back down to the ground under the weight of the dumbbells. And when I come back down towards my sides, I'm going from that externally rotated position down to an internally rotated shoulder. But most importantly here, as you do this, when you'll see it yourself, my glutes and low back have to fire extremely hard to be able to keep my legs off of the ground and also keep my upper body stabilized from sinking as the weights come down towards my lower body. So there's a lot going on here. The fact is you want to make sure that you can handle at least half of the weight that you can handle on the front side. And if you can't, you got your work cut out for you. You're probably one of those guys that's thinking about the core in a lot more narrow sense than you should be. You might even be thinking to yourself, what is the big deal? What's the point of working on these smaller muscles? And I can tell you, even as you look at the movement I just showed you there, glutes, lumbar spine, thoracic spinal erectors, all these muscles are going to be extremely important. And guess what? Those big lifts, like the deadlift, like a bent row, all these exercises matter. Everything matters when you're trying to train like an athlete. And if you don't have the proper balance or attention paid to some of the smaller muscles, it's going to become the weakest link that will derail your performance in the bigger exercises, the one that you rely on to help you build muscle bigger, faster, stronger. So we have to make sure that we take care of everything here. And that's what we do at athletex.com. If you guys are looking for a program that leaves no link in the chain unnoticed, then head to Athletex, get our Athletex training system, and you'll see how to actually train like an athlete to make sure that you're leaving no weaknesses behind. All right, guys, I'll be back here again in just a few days. If you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below and give it a try. Let me know what is the imbalance you've got going on. Maybe you can't use any weight at all. That's okay. You can always improve your strength. I'll see you guys back here soon.